Hi everyone, welcome back to DIY Geek. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve 10 out of 10 uh, outgoing email server using Proxmox Mail Gateway. So I've installed Proxmox Mail, Ga Mail Gateway. This is version 7.22 and um, I have been playing around, testing many different settings uh, in the uh, Proxmox Mail Gateway. Um, along with working with Zimbra, which is our mail server. So our mail server sits behind the Proxmox mail gateway and all outgoing emails from Zimbra is being scanned with Proxmox mail gateway. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to set it up, set up the Proxmox mail gateway so that you can get 10 out of 10 score. All right, so I'm gonna also make different videos overall because uh, there are many other things that is not related to Proxmox Mail Gateway that you can still do to, 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 in order for you to achieve 10 out of 10. All right, so let's get started. All right, first thing first, um, let's go through all the different features, mainly in the Proxmox Mail Gateway. We're talking about this particular tab right here, which is the mail proxy. So the mail proxy starts here with relaying. Uh, so this is the incoming setting for your mail which is nothing to do with outgoing so we're just going to completely skip that because it's not within the topic of this video and this is for relaying domains so this is re, um, re, uh, actually required for outgoing because uh, proxmox mail gateway needs to know if they would if you would like them to relay the email for outgoing and incoming so uh, the uh, domain that i'm concentrating on right now is called the dryer.com all right, next is the uh, ports. So the internal port that all the servers from internally from my network that will send email outgoing is going to be from port 26, this one right here. Internal port, SMTP port 26, is where Zimbra is going to send outgoing email to the Proxmox mail gateway. And then port 26 is how it receives the email into Proxmox Mail Gateway before it goes out to the internet. So make sure that this is set to 26, or if you set it to some other port number, make sure that your other mail server that originates the outgoing email will send it to port 26 so that mail, Proxmox Mail Gateway will pick it up from port 26. All right, next is uh, this option, which are listing a whole bunch of um, settings here and most of these are um, actually for out well for incoming actually um, like for example here is the uh, uh, block list spf yes this, these are all for incoming so you can skip pretty much skip this particular tab let's go to transport all right so again this is for incoming because it's port 25 the outgoing is port 26. Let's go to network. Okay, so this is important. Um, I have chosen to trust my whole entire um, 10.0.0.8 network entirely. So everything inside my internal network, I let it relay through the Proxmox mail gateway in order for it to be able to send out email. You may want to restrict this to something a lot smaller, maybe a slash 16 or slash 24, or even a slash 32 just for a single host. Next, um, to enable TLS. Uh, this is more likely to uh, be related to incoming, um, whether you would like to enable TLS setting for IMAP, etc., to be able to connect, so we can skip over that. All right, so DKIM. Now, this is definitely uh, a tab that you have to uh, pay attention to. The reason why is, um, again, here in the spam, spam test result, you will see that um, right here, if you don't have DKI, DKIM set, you will not be able to uh, gain this uh, point, 0 0.1 score right here. And... Um, yeah, so make sure that you set DKIM uh, to yes, and then the set the selector, 
and then sign all outgoing mail is equal to yes. And here also to make sure that the, the domain that you're going to send out email from is listed on this side too. Now, there is a problem or maybe a bug with uh, Proxmox Mail Gateway where if you use this value right here from your um, from clicking this view DNS record, this value right here is not valid, unfortunately. So you would have to get the value directly from the actual file within your Proxmox Mail Gateway. And uh, I'm going to show you the, uh, um, the value to that right now. Okay, so I'm going to show you the secret or how to fix this bug right here. Um, is that you log in to the SSH or the terminal to the uh, Proxmox Mail Gateway and then you navigate to this directory right here or you simply just type in this whole entire uh, command, which basically uh, will print out your, um, basically your key. And uh, so you'll be able to um, use it. And uh, so uh, this particular key for me, um, for my key, it looks like that. And um, so you can use that. Uh, to be able to send uh, DKIM uh, for a particular domain. And make sure that uh, this is the selector of the DKIM that uh, you're going to be using, um, which is going to be the same as the file name that allows you to be able to echo out the uh, public key like this. All right. So that's how you get the DKIM to work. Uh, instead of relying on, on this particular setting right here. And let me show you how or where the DKIM is being used in your DNS. Okay, so here um, I'm going to navigate out and uh, go to um, a particular setting, actually not this one. Okay, so I've logged in to my um, GoDaddy DNS record for the dryer.com and I want to show you that the uh, here is a TXT record and for the name I'll put the selector with this PMG 2023 which match my selector right here PMG 2023 and I put the entire DKIM uh, as the value here so this stands for version DKIM1 uh, using the hash uh, SHA2256 uh, RSA and then the uh, the P equal to is the public key that was acquired from this particular value right here basically right here all right so when you save that it will um, automatically be detected when you send emails it will authenticate your DKIM which is very important all right the next thing that you would want to pay attention to obviously is the SPF and SPF is much easier if you go to your domain the SPF would look like uh, let me show you here SPF um, right here all right so the SPF, you would need to have uh, MX, the IP address of the mail server, uh, which is my Zimbra server. And then the, you also need to include the host name of your PMG, uh, primary uh, Proxmox mail gateway. And, um, and then everything else that is sending out email, I also have MailJet um, as my outgoing email. Um, for email campaigns. This is my Zimbra server. Yeah, so as long as your SPF is correct, uh, you'll be able to um, get a positive score on your SPF right here as pass. All right, the next thing that uh, you will want to do is uh, whitelist. Nope, that's it. Actually, so for the Proxmox mail gateway, 
that is it. Those are all the um, settings that you need to uh, to do in order for you to uh, get a 10 out of 10. Basically, most of the settings that you have to do is inside this spam assassin right here. Let's go through some other settings here that matters. Like the first one does not matter uh, whether you properly authenticated. Again, you know, we already went over the SPF. We already went over the DKIM. Oh, DMARC. Yes. Okay. So let me show you about the DMARC. This has nothing to do with Proxmox Mail Gateway, but uh, it is uh, a DMARC value that is quite typical right here. So basically, uh, you would create a TXT record on the DNS, and the name is underscore DMARC, and the value is DMARC version one, semicolon, P um, is quarantine, which means that if it doesn't work out well, do not reject the email. I prefer just to quarantine it. Usually it comes in as a spam in the spam directory so I can still review it. All right, and then the here, ASPF is basically, um, I don't know why they have the A in front of SPF and DKIM, but basically ASPF equal to S uh, and ADKIM equal to S simply means that you already have it um, being set and it's, it's, I think it stands for strict, which means that if they don't have uh, the appropriate a, uh, SPF um, settings or value, please, re, uh, please quarantine it or they don't have the appropriate DKIM, also quarantine the email. All right, so that makes it much, much better um, for your protection in order for you to send outgoing email you know that it's always signed with uh, SPF and DKIM, so therefore it's hard for people to uh, claim as your domain and uh, you're gonna get uh, a better score. Uh, let's see what else here. Other than DMARC, um, also um, the IP address needs to be able to be associated to pmg.datafeedfile.com. You can easily do that by just creating an A record of this particular domain back to this IP address. Um, the domain, the dryer is assigned to a mail server. Again, that's the same thing. Um, it's just to have an MX record uh, from the dryer to that IP address. And uh, PMG to the mail server, again, same thing as here, just a, a, a record to be able to have this host to point to this particular domain. All right, um, next is the HTML content itself and whether you're blacklisted, etc., which is uh, self-explanatory. Okay, so that is about it. So these two right here is probably the most important two tabs, Spam Assassin and whether you're properly authenticated. These are the two most important part of getting this kind of score right here, the perfect score 10 out of 10, which is what you want. Okay, so I hope you find this uh, video useful of how to set your Proxmox mail gateway to get a 10 out of 10. If you do find this useful, please give it a thumbs up. And also consider shopping on Amazon using the link in the description. And uh, if you like this kind of content, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Appreciate it, thank you, bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.